what's up babes and welcome back to my channel i hope y'all are having a great day today it looks awful outside so i hope the lighting is okay it looks like nighttime but it's not it's like noon so hopefully we're gucci i pulled out way more lights than i usually do today i am here to fulfill a very old request so a few months ago i did um, a top products under $10 video. I will have a link somewhere around here. Um, and I got a lot of questions about either doing affordable products that I do not suggest or doing a like comparison between high end and budget products. Now you guys know I'm the type of person that like, I am not into just putting out a bash video. Truthfully, the majority of the affordable products that I don't like are from brands that I also do not support. And I refuse to give anybody I don't like a platform to me that's just stupid if I don't like somebody. Why am I talking about them all the time? <laughs> so there's that. But I decided that I was going to do a, if you're on a budget, buy this and not that video. Now for clarification, this is not a dupes video. Um, none of these products I feel like are really dupes the formulations are not the same. A lot of them aren't even remotely similar in formulation. Many of them have different textures. But this video is for people who enjoy certain high-end products, but maybe you can't afford it right now or you're just trying to like budget. Everything is really expensive right now. And these products I feel like are great options if you like one thing and you can't afford it, but you want something that's going to do something similar. So if you are interested, and hearing my lineup of buy this, not that, then just keep on watching. Before we get into it, scent of the day. Y'all know I'm trying to remember to give y'all that. And today's scent of the day is a newbie. They sent this to me when it released. Um, This is Peach Fields from Skylar Clean Beauty. Um, And I was really hyped to get this because I love peach fragrances. And I was in more of like a fresh, fruity kind of mood. I'm usually not in that kind of mood but I was feeling it today. This has white peach, osmanthus, and sandalwood. And it's really nice. It's a really nice, sweet, juicy peach fragrance that has a warm osmanthus and sandalwood base. I really, really like it. And it lasts forever. A lot of the peach fragrances that I've tried or like have in my collection either aren't very peach forward or they don't last a long time. This one, because of the sandalwood, lasts for hours and hours and hours. So... That is Peach Fields from Skylar Clean Beauty. Again, they did send this to me, so shout out to them for sending this over to me. I'm not obligated to talk about them, but I've been enjoying this a lot. So I'll have information down below, and usually whenever they send me products, they give me a code. So if I have one, I'll put it down in the description for you. If I don't, I'm pretty sure that there's probably like some kind of coupon code on the website that you can pull up, and you can also get this on Sephora. I feel like I don't always give a lot of... um comparisons between like leave-in conditioners I feel like I like so many that I don't know I feel like sometimes I almost kind of lose track of what I've tried what I like and all that good stuff but I have a few that I feel like are pretty spot on so one of my favorite higher end like niche leave-in conditioners is the Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In from Sultanicals. This is actually a fresh bottle. I've been through a couple of Frizz Whiz leave-in conditioners. This is one of my favorites. I like to pair this with several different gels in my collection, um, especially this with Kinky Curly is like top tier, right? Um, this is really nice because it kind of has that effect of adding a little bit of like hold and some extra definition to the curl before you go in with your styler. So this pairs very, very well with their, what is it called? Um, the Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly. I usually use those two in tandem. And every now and then I will jump out of that and pair this with something else. But I was thinking, you know, I really love this, but there's an inexpensive product in my collection that I feel like really does do what this does in a lot of ways and that is the texture id curls enhancing primer they actually have relatively similar textures i would say that this is a little bit more thick and this one is a little bit more of that 
um, almost slightly gelatinous feel. It has that like kind of sticky tacky texture to it. If you've seen the video that I've done on this with its companion custard, then you know exactly what I mean. It kind of has that little sticky like a viscous kind of texture. Um, but these both have like a little bit of a pearlescent sheen. They both have tons of slip. They both go in and add extra definition to your curls before you do anything. Both of them add really beautiful shine and leave really nice moisture in the hair as well. I feel like if you love this product, there's a very good chance that you're probably going to enjoy this one. So if you're on a budget and you can't afford your Sultanicals, check Texture ID out. I think you may be surprised. So, Y'all know this baby right here. I love her. She is a gem. Um, I have been using Agua Beauty for several years now. I really enjoy the brand. I've done several videos about this brand on my channel and the Bale Mint Leave-In Conditioner is awesome. This is made with Baobab, Winter Mint, and Spearmint oils. And this is a really nice emollient, thick leave-in conditioner that just melts into the hair like butter. This makes your hair feel like it won't believe. But I know there are a lot of us that can't afford Agua Beauty, you know, we're where Target, Walmart prices out here. And I feel like this collection in general leaves my hair feeling very much the way that Agua Beauty does. And that is the Goddess Strength um, collection, specifically the Divine Strength Leave-In Cream from Carol's Daughter. Um, you guys know I was incredibly impressed with this collection when it came out. Um, I think when they launched, they only had the shampoo, a conditioner, um, and the leave-in and maybe an oil. I think they came out with an oil at the time too. I think there are a couple more products in the collection now and I really do need to try those because I love this collection but I feel like this gives a lot of what this gives because it is so emollient. This is formulated with um castor oil, ginger, and cumin seed oil and I feel like cumin seed oil is one of those um, ingredients and products that I feel like my hair just really, really, really likes. And this leaves my hair feeling very similarly to how this leaves my hair feeling. It's very thick, very rich. I do have to be mindful of what I pair this with in the same way I have to be mindful of what I paired this with because, you know, my hair is finer. I have to, you know, if I want volume, I have to be mindful about what I'm putting together when it comes to my products. But this is amazing. Now, obviously, this does not have Agua Beauty level ingredients, okay? Um, if we're talking high-end and drugstore, the main difference is going to be those ingredients. But I feel like for a drugstore product, this still has a lot of really great additions to the ingredients list. Um, I believe this does have cones in it, so if that bothers you, sorry. But it clearly doesn't bother me. But at the end of the day, I feel like these two do relatively similar things and they make my hair feel very similarly. And in a lot of ways, they remind me of each other. So if you're on a budget and you can't afford Agua, I highly suggest checking out the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Collection. Since we're on the Agua Beauty um, and Carol's Daughter train, another one that I feel like two very similar products that do very similar things and leave my hair feeling relatively the same. The Agua Beauty Bailment Moisturizing Shampoo. This is one of my favorite moisturizing shampoos. It's very creamy. It almost has the texture of a leave-in when you dispense it into your hair, but it gives you this really rich, high foaming lather that just feels amazing. And when you rinse it off, your hair feels so soft and just plump and plush. And the fortifying shampoo from the Goddess Strength Collection from Carol's Daughter gives me a very similar effect. Now, obviously you're going to get like that kind of minty feeling on your scalp from this because it has those winter mint and spearmint oils in it. This one does not. This has like a very, I don't know, kind of like sweet perfumey scent. So they do smell very different. And so this is going to give you a little bit of a more like fresh feeling on the scalp where this one won't. But I feel like this leaves a very similar feeling in the hair. Um, this does have relatively thick oils that are going to act in many other similar ways that a lot of the ingredients in this do. Both of them are phenomenal. I feel like they do a great job of being very moisturizing shampoos, very hydrating shampoos. They get the hair very clean, but they do 
leave a little bit behind. That's what they're formulated to do because they are moisturizing shampoos. I absolutely love both of these um, and it's taken me forever to get through both of them. Um, this one, it's taken me forever. This one is a brand new bottle because I just emptied one. I love both of them and I feel like if you cannot afford Adjua, this is a great one to give a try. Um, because I feel like it does do very similar things. I feel like this comparison is no surprise. And truthfully, I feel like this brand kind of wanted to create a little bit of competition with the higher end one. And if you follow both of these brands, I'm sure this is not going to be any surprise to you. The Briogeo. Um, Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel and Leave-In Defining Cream. These are both almost empty. I need to go ahead and use these up. Um, I really enjoy both of these. Now, when I did my review, I did say that I felt like the gel, um, it just needed a little bit of emollients in it. I, I really enjoy it and it makes my hair look absolutely phenomenal. It's one of those products that I put it in my hair. I walk out the door and people are like, what is in your hair? Like, <laughs> but it's not like my favorite feeling gel, if that makes sense. This leave-in though, but this leave-in is 100% top tier. It's awesome. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. And I'll probably repurchase this just because I really like the way my hair looks with it. Like it might not be my favorite feeling thing, but I mean, I can't deny how great my hair looks when I use these two together. I've been moving around my products and stuff um, to other places. So there are some products here that I own, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> they're, they're in boxes and stuff while I move things around. But the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Sculpting Gel and um, Styling Cream are absolutely phenomenal. And I feel like they work almost identically to this. Um, even though I feel like I like the gel from this better than I do from the Briogeo, but I like the leave-in from Briogeo more than I like styling cream from Not Your Mother's. So, I mean, it, pros and cons, right? But I feel like in the hair together, the looks are pretty much the same. They work relatively the same. Um, and in all honesty, the main, like, what is it? The main ingredient callouts are kind of similar to um, this one has that tomato fruit extract, rice, keratin amino acids, all that stuff. This one also has rice amino acids, avocado. There's some quinoa, hydrolyzed quinoa in here. So these amino acid complexes and all that stuff that they boast are very similar. And I think Curl Talk was trying to do what Briogeo was also doing. And I mean, it I mean, let's be real, it's a little obvious. <laughs> but I feel like they did do it well, though. So if you're on a budget and you're a Briogeo lover, but you can't necessarily afford Briogeo right now, check out Not Your Mother. Their deep conditioners, as well as their full Curl Talk range, are all really, really great. So if you cannot fork out the money for Briogeo, I feel like Not Your Mother is a great place to start um, when it comes to on the lower end of the budget, especially because I feel like they are one of those drugstore brands that does try to be a little bit more mindful about ingredients. Too. Let's talk about some deep conditioners because we love deep conditioning over here. You can get some really great deep conditioners on a budget. You just have to try and look. Um, I mean, nobody is exempt from having to try things out and figure out what works, right? <laughs> so first things first, um, some more Briogeo recommendations because I absolutely love their line. They are also very pricey. A lot of us cannot afford Briogeo, I'm aware. So first things first, I don't have it here because I emptied the jar. I gotta go buy another one, but that is the Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. That is one of my favorite protein focused hair masks. I feel like it's, it is closer to the edge of being balanced um, than a lot of other protein products, but I feel like it does teeter more on the side of more on the side of more protein heavy. The texture is everything. It has tons of slip. That product lasted me forever. I mean, I was using it. My mama was using it. Like everybody was using it, and it lasted forever because it's so slippery. It glides into the hair like butter. It grips onto the strands and. Every time I thought that I was on my last use of the jar, I was like, oh no, I have plenty left. <laughs> and it's only an eight ounce container. So I got a lot of use out of those eight ounces. Um, but if you cannot afford Don't Despair Repair, 
this Afigy Curlific Texture Treatment, I feel like is probably the closest thing that I know you can get to the Don't Despair Repair. Now, prior to the last several months, I would have told you guys the Monos Hair Texture Treatment, but um, you can't get that anymore. So, this one is the only other one that I feel like really touches the Briogeo. Now, this right here, to me, is heavier on the protein side, okay? It's not as close to the balance of hydration and um, protein that you get with the Briogeo, but I feel like my hair looks very similar and feels very similar with both of them. This one just makes my hair feel a tad bit stronger. Um, I don't use products like this super often, maybe like once a month, um, a little bit more frequently in the summer when it's like really humid and the air can kind of make my hair feel kind of wet and mushy to the touch. I have to implement a little bit more protein into my routine. Um, but this is amazing. Now, obviously, the ingredients on Afigy are not going to be anywhere near what you get with Briogeo. This does have cones in it. This is a bit of a thicker formulation, so it doesn't quite have as much slip and therefore it doesn't spread quite as far as the Briogeo does. But I still get a lot of uses out of this too. For me, these are those kinds of products that like I personally can splurge on because it's not like I'm using them every single week. Um, but this is a great option if you just cannot justify Briogeo money. And because I feel like I just have to. I mean, look at me just over here just giving recommendations for the whole lineup. Another mask that I love from the Briogeo collection, the Be Gentle, Be Kind. Um, was it the avocado and apple deep conditioner? It's something like that. I'll put I'll put the picture right here. But it's their Be Gentle, Be Kind deep conditioner. I live for that. I just need to repurchase all of my Briogeo because <laughs> I've used almost all of it. Um, and although the ingredients obviously are not to that level, I feel like this is a really, really great option if you can't afford that one. And that is the Sauce Beauty Deep Moisture Mask. Um, this is their guacamole whip. The whole like concept of Sauce Beauty is like food, you know, foodie kind of stuff, obviously sauce. Um, and this has avocado, argan oil, and manoy oils. This one to me, because of obviously one, there are cones in this. Um, and two, it's just a thicker formulation. It doesn't have quite as much slip, but this still has a ton of slip. It makes your hair feel so good. This is, this is the kind of deep conditioner that when you use this and you rinse it out after your little deep conditioning session, like your hair feels like it has a little bit of weight to it. Like this just leaves your hair so just moisturized and lush feeling. It adds some shine to the hair. Um, as does the one from Briogeo. So I feel like if you cannot afford that one, this is a really, really great option. And it smells amazing. In a lot of ways, it smells slightly similar to the Briogeo. Not completely though. Like this is more of that like shampoo-y, like very much hair product scent where like the Briogeo one smells like food. But they both kind of have this like fruity, apple-y kind of scent. So I really enjoy this. Sauce Beauty has really good products, but this is like my favorite one out of all of them. You can get this at Sally Beauty and I wanna say I got it for less than $10. This is one that you cannot get all the time. So not only is it more so on the, high, the pricier end as it is like a niche natural hair company, it's one that you can't get all the time. At least I don't think she's added it to her permanent lineup. Um, I haven't shopped this company in a while cause you know they were kind of having some issues. But this is still one of my favorite products from them. I have several backups of this that I need to use. This one is almost empty. This is the Peppermint Deep Penetrating Hair Mask from Honey's Handmade. This is a really thick, rich deep conditioner. It's super duper emollient. It's one of those deep conditioners that when you rinse it out, like I said, it adds weight to the hair. Very much deep wave, fresh out of the pack kind of situation. And I love it. And it also gives that tingly feeling to your scalp too. Um, without the tingly feeling that you get, well, actually you do get the tingly feeling to your scalp. I feel like if you cannot afford this or you cannot find it, um, or you just want another option because sometimes Honey's Handmade stresses you out. Like it's one of those brands we absolutely love, but it just stresses out a little bit. <laughs> um, I feel like the Texture ID Scalp Treatment Mask 
is a great option. You guys know I have been in love with this deep conditioner for years. Back when it was the Silk Elements Deep Treatment Soothing Mask. Um, but they did away with that collection and then they took the same formula and repackaged it with Texture ID. So the one from Texture ID is the exact same thing. Um, and I love that one. Again, it does have cones. It's not the same level of ingredients as this, but the, the, the performance is phenomenal. I feel like that is an amazing deep conditioner to have when you are on a budget. It's really thick and it's rich. It lasts forever. And I feel like even in a lot of ways, the textures of both of those deep conditioners are very similar. Um, it leaves a very similar feeling in the hair. It leaves a lot of shine to the hair. It leaves your curls feeling just a tad bit weighty. Um, and it also, because it's a scalp treatment, like soothing conditioner, it has like those peppermint essential oils and things like that that are going to make the scalp feel really fresh um, and kind of tingly the way that this does. So like I said, if you can't afford this, you can't get your hands on it. Or you and HH are just having a moment, you know? <laughs> I highly suggest checking out that deep conditioner from Texture ID. Very similar results at a fraction of the cost. I feel like this one is, is going to be absolutely no surprise. Um, Y'all know I love me some Curl Maker. I've been using Curl Maker since I went back, went natural back in 20 whatever. Back in college, was it 2014, 2013, 2014-ish. Um, I've been using it since then. This has been a staple um, product in my collection for a long time. But we all know Curlmaker is not cheap. She is not cheap. Um, do I feel like she's worth every single penny? Absolutely. Have I been spending, you know, using this as my splurge natural hair care product for years? Absolutely. But I recently found this. I've done hella videos on it. I have talked this thing to death. The Texture ID Curls Styling Custard. It's amazing. Now, is it 100% like Camille Rose Curl Maker? No, they do have differences. Obviously, they have um, a lot of differences in formulation. The look, the look is what I love. Also, this one, I can get away with using more in humid climates where this one is mainly like winter for me, springtime, if it's not too nasty and muggy outside. Um, but they leave a very similar effect in my hair. I feel like this right here is the closest I've gotten to anything like Camille Rose Curl Maker, Uncle Funky's Daughter, or um, Kinky Curly Curling Custard from the drugstore. For me, this does not flake. It has tons of slip. It leaves my curls super duper defined. And it looks better as the days go on in the same way that this does for me. Um, obviously, the ingredients are very, very different. But you can't beat the price difference. If you cannot afford this, it feels really, really nice to finally have something that I can tell you guys does it for me the way that this does it for me. Because I know not everybody can afford a curl maker. Curl maker, she pricey, you know. So if you love this, I highly suggest giving this a try. If you're in a rut, you can't get your hands on it. Or you just want to try a cheaper option, give it a try. A product that I emptied out a while ago and have not repurchased. Um, the... TGIN Twist and Define Cream. This is one of the staple creams that I have used for like cream only wash and goes um, in my collection. This I believe has a carbomer base to it. So it's a really thick rich whipped cream but it still has a heavy gelling base to it that really holds the hair. So like if you have really really thick hair or coarse hair that's great for twist outs and things like that. For me I couldn't really use it for twist outs and braid outs and stuff because it made me look real scalpy because it has hold. But for a wash and go, she did what she needed to do. Um, and I do have a product that I find to be relatively similar to that. And that is the Aunt Jackie's Curl Maintenance Defining Curl Whip. Um, this is a product that I had kind of chilling in my collection and I hadn't opened it and I was like, let me give this a try because I just felt like a good old cream wash and go. She does what she needs to do, y'all. Um, this actually has a kind of similar texture to the TGIN one. It's very whipped, very dense. I do feel like the texture ID is a little bit thicker though. It's tacky, like it's a tacky cream. This one does have some tackiness to it too. I mean, y'all, when I put this in my hair, I mean, glossy 
shiny, just stunning. And it adds some weight to your hair too. Um, this is one of those few products that I feel like you can just throw this in your hair and just get up and go. It has a lot of emollients to it. So if you're someone who kind of struggles with trying to find something that's good for a one product wash and go, I feel like this is bomb. Um, it just bears so many similarities to the TGIN one. I absolutely love this. Um, it's something that I need to use more. I tried this like maybe a month or two ago and it's really, really good. Um, so the curl maintenance from Aunt Jackie's, really, really nice. Also, if you haven't given the TGIN Twist and Define Cream a try and you really like to do one product wash and goes, give her a holla. Y'all know you can get TGIN on sale, I don't know how many days out of the week now. <laughs> so, <laughs> Pattern Beauty. Y'all know I love me some Pattern Beauty. People still hate on us Pattern Beauty lovers, but you know, I feel like just, just stay in your lane. It's okay. If you don't like her, that's fine. I don't need to know. <laughs> I have been loving On Pattern Beauty since I tried the collection um, and I was so hyped when she finally came out with stylers. Um, she has the curl gel, a styling cream, the stronghold gel, and there is a custard in the collection too. And I think there's a foam now. I think she came out with a foam. This is a stronghold styling gel. This is really, really nice to mm, slick your hair back. It is pretty thick, very fluid. It glides through the hair effortlessly. Um, it leaves your hair super duper shiny and laid if you're going to be doing any type of like slick back style. It does really, really great work. But it also gives some of the like most beautiful, chunky, fluffy wash and goes of my life. I like to pair this with the leave-in conditioner when I want like a, a chunky, fluffy wash and go. And it does great. Um, and I feel like this smoothing gel from Texture ID pretty much gives me the same thing. They're very much on par with each other. As far as like ingredients go, they're not really that similar. They do use very different gelling agents. Um, this one is more oil heavy where this one is a little bit more extract heavy. But I feel like I still get almost dead on results to each other. Um, this is another one that is really, really great for slicking down your hair. I try not to use this too much because you only get like, what, six ounce? You get eight ounces in here. So I try not to overuse this, but it has a very similar thickness to the Pattern Beauty one. Um, just a little bit more like jiggly, you know, smooths the hair beautifully. This really lays down your hair and gets it really, really shiny and glossy. Um, so if you're someone who's like into really, really neat buns and stuff like that, she's got you. But this also was really great for wash and goes. I use this over the curl primer from the Texture ID collection. And it gives me like a fluffy, chunky wash and go with some shine. Really, really nice. I feel like if you really just don't want to spend money on Pattern Beauty, this is a good place to go. It's really, really nice. Um, I want to say I paid like $8.99 for this. I can't remember, but it was under $10 when I bought it. Um, so both of these are really, really nice. I love this. I love this. If you really love this, I think you're also really going to love this and vice versa. You guys know I love curl primers. Curl primers are some of my favorite products in my collection because they just make adding versatility to my other stylers like obsolete for someone like me who has a softer texture of hair who can really struggle with stronghold gels having a curl primer in my hair is the way to go if I want the hold of a stronghold gel but I don't want the helmet hair look yeah um and one of my favorites recently has been the Trey Lux reflex curl styling serum this is a lightweight botanical anti-frizz kind of gel serum texture situation it sells it says it creates bouncy silky natural curls with a flexible hold so you can use this on its own as a styler or on top of other products from the Trey Lux collection um this right here is immaculate and I love the smell too um Trey Lux just makes really solid products like I use them and I know that they're going to work um but Trey Lux is pricey and I feel like 
if you can't go for this guy, go for this guy. Um, the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum. This has been in my routine for years since I was back in college when this line came out. Um, I was obsessed with it then. I'm obsessed with it now. I still use this often underneath my Stronghold Gels. I use this under my Eco Slay. Shoot, I use this under my Eco Styla. Pretty much any Stronghold Gel that I can think of, if I just want to get a little bit more volume out of it, I add this underneath. Both of these work very, very similarly. The ingredients are relatively different, but they do the same thing and they work the same for me. I absolutely love both of them, but highly suggest. If you can't afford this or can't get your hands on it, pick up Eden Body Works. It's been one of my favorite inexpensive hair care brands for years. You can't go wrong. We're down to the end. These two, I love both of these so much. Um, These for sure are not dupes. They are very, very different, but they leave my hair feeling the same and they work both in the way that they're supposed to, but they work so similarly to each other. Um, I have been raving over this Pink Lemonade and Coconut 5-Minute Reviving Mask from the main choice for years. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners, especially when I'm on a time crunch and I gotta get my hair did, okay? But she needs some help, okay? I use her. Tons of slip, tons of moisture, literally, absolutely, 100% does work in five minutes. I love this. I tend to leave it in longer, but like I can put this in in the shower and it feels like I sat down and deep conditioned my hair for 20 minutes. That's how potent this thing is. It's amazing. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners of all time and one of my favorite products from the main choice. I've been raving about this pretty much almost since I started the channel um, and my love for it has not wavered. But I found this baby and you know, she she comes from main choice in terms of performance. Now this is not a deep conditioner, but they're both supposed to work real, real fast. So to me, it don't matter. <laughs> this is the three minute restoring conditioner from Flawless by Gabrielle Union. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dog. She's in the other room fighting with copper. Um, this is infused with Brazilian, bakiri butter, olive oil, and castor seed oil. Um, this right here gives very similar effects to the main choice one. Now, textures, not even remotely similar. Ingredients, not even remotely similar. <laughs> but the effect, I mean, I can't lie. It's pretty much the same for me. Um, what this gives me, this also gives me. If anything, I would say that this makes my hair feel a little bit more weighty. Um, I do think there are cones in here, if I remember correctly. There may not be, I, I, but I, I think there are though. I'm just kind of glancing over it and missing everything. This is amazing, y'all. It's a beautiful product. Y'all know I had side-eyed the Gabrielle Union collection for a long time and finally tried it because of a curl box. And when I did try the products, I was so impressed. Like, the products now are really, 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 really good. And I feel like they are worthy of being talked about and raved about on the internet now. <laughs> this conditioner is bomb. If you are just like in a quick rut, you just need something that you know is going to get your hair feeling amazing while you're in the shower, this right here. I wash my hair, put it in, do the rest of my body, skin, whatever I need to do in the shower, rinse it out before I get out. Um, and my hair feels like I deep conditioned for a good 20 minutes under a heating cap, the same way that this one makes my hair feel. They're both phenomenal. They're both products that I keep in my routine. Um, but if you can't afford her or you can't find her, check out Gabrielle Union. She's a salad beauty and she's bomb. All right, guys, that is it for my little buy this, not that budget friendly edition. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to give you guys some some things that I don't talk about all the time. Um, and of course, some obvious things too. <laughs> um, but you guys let me know what are some of your favorite budget alternatives to some of your favorite products. Um, and if I can find enough to, to make another video, I'll do another video, you know, in, in a, a month or two. Because um, I feel like these are really, really helpful. Like I said, we all can't afford certain things. And it's great to know that there is something that is more budget friendly that falls in line with the claims or the needs that you have with certain 
expensive products that you may not be able to afford, right? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see something like this again. Um, I feel like I found some gems here. Um, I will see you guys either tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. Life been really weird, but I'm trying to stay consistent. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.